What's up guys, it's T Warrior Nations, making it happen, your boy the warrior. And I just want to answer this question I got in an email today, which is about food cravings, okay? It's, you know, it's when you get to that stage when you've gone into a calorie deficit, you're depriving yourself of some, you know, rich and calorie dense nutrients, and you're hitting that stage now where you're starting to kick in the food cravings, and your body's starting to want stuff that you're not really meant to be having and these are two tips that I like to use and you know this is some things that you can put to thought and you can think about and you know put to perspective yourself but this is some two methods that I like to you know look at and what I like to use and think about when it comes to food cravings and how to deal with them personally I don't get food cravings myself I don't uh, have a sweet tooth if you follow me on snapchat I'll leave the link down below uh, make sure you go follow me on there um, you know, if you do follow me on there, you'll know that I do say a lot of time I don't have a sweet tooth, so I'm a lucky one. I don't have this problem where it comes to going on a calorie deficit or depriving myself of some calorie dense foods. You know, I don't crave uh, as much as I as other people would, or you know. So I have a stronger willpower, as some people would say. Um, <clears throat> you know, when it comes to certain foods that I do crave, there's things like you know bananas. Um, you know, there's, there's still sweet things, so they're like bananas, sweet potato, uh, muesli, but they're a more healthy option, and they're not just uh, they're not as calorie dense as some other foods. Um, you know, um, when it comes to food cravings, you know, the two methods that I like to use, and I'm going to get into this now. The first method is um, the trigger. You know, the trigger is known as you know the trigger foods. Um, what happens is, you know, you, you get to that point where there's maybe a stage where you're going to have maybe one cookie or one biscuit or one chocolate bar but then that one chocolate bar you know as soon as you get that taste of it you've released the trigger and now you can't stop and you can't help it and you end up eating either the whole bar the whole packet of biscuits you know there's a saying is you know have one or two biscuits but just don't eat all of them don't eat the whole pack you know some people don't have the willpower to be able to control themselves to only have that one or two uh, biscuits uh, and then this is what releases that trigger and uh, you know the cravings kick in they fall off the bandwagon and then before you know it they've eaten you know the whole packet of biscuits or the chocolate or whatever it is you know they were craving at the time the the best solution I can say uh, it sounds simple is literally get rid of any trigger foods from your diet or within your household you know the only problem is is if you live on your own or you have a partner who's uh, into fitness as well you know it'll work out easier for you you can both you know work on something and you know get rid of all the processed foods or all the trigger foods that really set you off your um, your diet. Um, the only other thing is if you do uh, if you do not live with a partner or you know you're living with your family, you got you know you're living with your parents still and things like that, and they don't necessarily eat healthy and they still eat those trigger foods, uh, and you can't necessarily get rid of everything in the house because they have to eat what they want to eat as well, guys. Um, yeah, there's not much of an option you can really say. Yeah, all I can just say is try and completely take them out of your complete diet. So if you try and reward yourself once a month, uh, once a week, whatever it is that you do, um, and you don't really have the willpower to be able to only treat yourself to what you're meant to be treating yourself to, you know, to a standard uh, extent, you know, so maybe that one chocolate bar or those two biscuits, you know, if you don't have the willpower to be able to only stick to that one chocolate bar, whatever it is, Cut it out of your diet completely, you know, there's no harm in completely taking out of your diet. I know some people say, you know, you've got to kind of live like a normal lifestyle and like live like a normal human and, you know, get these foods in. But if you're serious about your goals and you don't really have that much of a uh, strong willpower like other people do, you know, you have to take it out of it completely. The only other method is the uh, if it fits your macros. Um... I am a big believer in uh, if it fit your macros, I do use it myself, but the only problem with if it fits your macros is it does involve uh, those craving foods, you know, it does involve those trigger foods that are very calorie dense and they don't contain, you know, the really rich uh, and, you know, vital uh, minerals and nutrients and uh, vitamins and fibres and whatnot, you know, They're, so really, in other terms, it's it's... It's a nothing food. There's no 
good nutrients within you know the trigger foods the craving foods such as cookies and things like that whereas a better option is whole food you know where the whole food you can get some good nit uh, nitrogen you can get good micronutrients in there you've got some good fibers some good vitamins and as well with the uh, good whole food is they're not as calorie dense as the trigger foods so you'll be able to consume a lot more of the wholesome foods as you would as the trigger foods whereas if you get to the point where you're eating the trigger foods um, and you you know you get you hit the trigger mode and you're eating one maybe the whole pack of whatever the trigger foods is let's say for example in this case cookies so you've eaten one to maybe five you know a pack of five cookies there could be uh, a total of one thousand to maybe two thousand calories within that pack and that whole pack never contained any good vital macro micronutrients any good fibers any good vitamins or anything good for the system and for your body whereas if you consume something less calorie dense and whole food um you know rich in fiber rich in vitamins you know you're going to get a lot more out of it and because it's not as calorie dense you can consume a lot more of it so you'll be able to be fuller for longer as whereas the you know the craving foods, because there, there's no uh, micronutrients in there, there's nothing good, it's a nothing food in my terms, there's nothing in there, so it's empty calories, it's not going to fill you up, and it's just only going to make you want to crave more foods, more calories, where you're now entering the uh, calorie intake over yeah. macro intake, so you're going over your uh, daily macro intake, and this is to the point where you're now storing fat. So try and consume some more whole good foods, um, if you can, fruits, vegetables, you know, fruits and vegetables are the best. Fruits, especially in my opinion, are really good because obviously they some of the fruits do have sweetness in them. Uh, you know, bananas, they're very uh, sweet. Uh, apples, oranges, you know, all of them. The strawberries, blueberries, they all have that sweet taste. So that does take away the craving of the sweetness, you know, and because they're so less calorie dense than the craving foods you can consume a lot more of them and it should fill you up a lot quicker and a, you know for a longer period of time and this should cut out the food cravings but at the end of the day overall it comes down to personal aspects you know it comes down to how everybody is because obviously everybody develops different everybody is different at the end of the day some people generally be are able to control their cravings some cannot some do not have the uh, strong willpower as others do you know for example in my opinion i don't force myself to have uh, you know crappy craving trigger foods even though i don't have a sweet tooth so sometimes you know if i need to spike my metabolism i do need to get those higher calorie dense foods into my body and into my system and in my macro intake but in my opinion i don't see the point of forcing this food into me if I don't want it or I don't need it, okay? So, you know, my cravings will consist of things that are sweet, but on the healthier side, like I said before, bananas, uh, sweet potato, um, and even uh, muesli, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a big lover of muesli, um, bagels as well, I know bagels are not as sweet, but, you know, once you put some peanut butter or jam or that in it, you know, they're my sort of cravings, but obviously other people, do not have that sort of willpower so it does generally come down to personal aspects and personal um, uh, individuals uh, willpower and strengths you know some people will be able to eat that um, trigger food you know they'll be able to eat that cookie or whatever it is just to kick that craving and carry on and not fall off the bandwagon some people don't have that willpower to be able to do it so it really comes down to you know how strong you are how strong your willpower is and how strong you are of you know getting in those craving foods but still sticking to your daily intake of your macros and just controlling them to a small portion throughout the day so really at the end of the day what it does come down to is if you can control yourself with your cravings there's no harm in it go ahead eat that cookie okay Go right now and eat that cookie if you can hold that craving, you know. If you can control it, you know when to stop. You can have that one or two cookies and then stop there. Go and enjoy that cookie now. If you're less um, strong as those certain people, you know, your willpower isn't as strong as those, you can't eat that cookie without eating the whole pack. Unfortunately, guys, stay away from the cookies. Chuck them out, get rid of them, and stick to wholesome foods where you can consume a lot more of them and fill up yourself a lot quicker and a lot easier while still getting in the good micronutrients that your body needs or if you're someone like me you're not le uh, you don't 
you don't generally have a sweet tooth, but when you do have that kind of a sweet tooth, your cravings is more healthier options like bananas, fruits, muesli, and stuff like that, you know, a healthier option and not as calorie dense. Again, help yourself, dig yourself in there, but remember to keep it in portion. Don't go too far over your daily calorie in intake or your daily macro intake, and just try and keep on track of it all. Other than that guys, that's pretty much my tips and guidance of food cravings and how you can deal with them and how they come across and that. I hope this video again did uh, help you out. If it did help you out guys, don't forget to click that like button for me. Uh, I'm starting to get the hang of this YouTube stuff now so really trying to pick up on it. Um, you know, I'm trying to get some more videos out for you guys, trying to help you guys out, give you my opinions. Again, these are my opinions. There will be trolls out there who do not like my opinions and they will be saying bad stuff about it. But again, if you don't agree with my opinions, you don't have to watch these videos. You can move on and watch other videos. If you do agree with my opinions and they are helpful, I am uh, glad they're helping you out and to show your support back for me guys make sure you subscribe to my channel to make sure you see more footage and more content coming up soon and if you have any questions or any queries about any other videos hit me up on my email i'll leave that down in the description below or leave a comment on here as well and i'll make sure i get a footage up for you guys asap i'm going to start be doing some other cool stuff as well involving supplements uh supplements of the week uh reviewing more supplements and that and giving you out my opinions and my advice and that so make sure you stay tuned for that if you want to stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and turn on your notifications so they'll come up straight away and you'll get first dibs on the new content and as Always, guys, make sure you stay safe and make it happen. Here's some tips and that that I use in my program that might benefit you on your rest days and help get more out of your rest days than literally just kicking back and doing nothing because this is something that I used to do pretty